Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Portera, and I am an educator at the IFM Bioenergetics Advanced Practice Module. One of the things that we spend a lot of time really looking at is the connection and the underlying reasons and causes of mitochondrial dysfunction. Oftentimes, we consider mitochondrial function in our patients when a patient presents with fatigue or maybe they have poor recovery from exercise. And those are sort of the classical things that we look at. But what we really need to spend time doing in a proper functional medicine workup is to understand that there are antecedents, triggers, and mediators that are driving mitochondrial dysfunction. And in our patients that have fatigue, for example, we need to be looking for where is that mitochondrial dysfunction coming from? The same is true of our chronic pain patients. Oftentimes we don't think of the, the relationship between pain and mitochondrial function. We need to go after and be good investigators of mitochondrial dysfunction within all systems of the body. One of the first places I look, of course, is at their nutritional status because there's very specific nutrients that are necessary to drive ATP production. But we have to pair that with looking at gut function. Is there dysbiosis? Are there root causes of inflammation? Is that driving oxidative stress? How do we put that all together in a patient plan? How do we assess and use our go-to-it model to walk through the steps of being able to address not only just generalized mitochondrial dysfunction, but in particular addressing fatigue, addressing muscle pain, addressing chronic pain, and neurological pain and neurodegenerative disorders as well.